should just not be allowed to leave the house. I shouldn't. I should not be allowed in Sephora. I should not be allowed in Nordstrom. And I shouldn't. Remember when you told me in the morning you said I Hey guys, so I plan to only film my favorites today, but I did go shopping with my friend Amanda earlier and we did go to Nordstrom and also Sephora and Things got a little out of hand and now I have enough stuff to film another haul video. We did stop by Target too, so there are a couple drugstore things. Uh, let's start with those. The only two drugstore items that I have for this haul right now are the Revlon Color Bursts. Um, I got one of the matte balms and one of the lacquer balms. The lacquer one is in Coquette and this one is Shameless. So this one right here, that is Coquette, and that is one of the lacquer bombs, so the shimmery, smooth ones. And this one's one of the matte bombs, and this is Shameless. Ooh, that one goes really smooth. I haven't tried these out yet, so I don't know how much to say about them. They were $6.49 at Target, and they were pretty low on colors, and any of the ones that were left were all smudged, and you could tell people had opened them. So these are the only two that I found that looked like they had not been messed with besides a red that I wasn't really into at this moment. Okay, so that concludes. Those are the only things that I got at Target. And then we'll go in the order of the places that we went. And then we went to Nordstrom. And of course I had to go by the mat counter. I'm going to include this set because I ordered it and just got it the other day. Um, this is one of the MAC pigment and glitter sets. This is the green and teal. These are $32.50 at the MAC counters or the MAC website or Nordstrom.com. It's really pretty. Each set comes with three pigments and two glitter. A lot of the pigments in these holiday sets are permanent, but it's still such a good deal, even if there's only a couple in here that you want. If you think about it, a normal glitter or pigment is around $22, and two of those alone would be, yeah, $44. So for $32.50, that's a really and then today I picked up the, that's cute, they have it all kind of wrapped full holiday sets. This is the silver and violet pigment and glitter set. Again, it comes with two glitters and three pigments. Yeah. So every year I say that I don't need the pigment sets from MAC when they come out for holiday, but I end up getting every single one every time. So all I have left to get is the black and gold and you know it won't be long. If I can find it, unless it's sold out, that's the one that's selling the fastest, so. And the last thing that I staked there was one of the Bobbi Brown eyeshadows in Camel. Of course, I heard Jaclyn Hill talking about it and that I just needed to go get it. I wanted to get all three, but I decided I'd start with just the one and see how I feel. I just feel like it's, it's a different brown. I guess it's kind of similar to Max texture, but there's no shimmer and it's a little more yellow, I would say. And I think this was 22 at Nordstrom. I know that Sephora also carries Bobbi Brown shadows, which I didn't know until I went to Sephora after this. So, okay. I always get in trouble when I walk into that store. Always. Okay, so it started with, every, you know, everyone has the 20 off of 50, 15 off of 50, whatever it is, um, uh, VIB coupons. So I needed to spend mine. I just did, and I've been looking for this blush palette, because everyone sold out, the Sephora website sold out, it's just been gone. But there it was, sitting on the shelf when I went to Sephora, so I needed it. Need, needed necessity like I'm just gonna like die without it off the cuff set so it comes with a little bonus cuff and that's really cute anything black and gold I'm gonna love I love this super sparkly and it does have a mirror and a little insert with the names of the blushes and then it comes with four blushes and one bronzer I have not tried the Park Avenue princess bronzer but I've heard good things also heard good things about um, everything in here. If you watch any YouTube videos, you're going to hear a lot of good things about this palette. <sighs> Therefore, I've just been, you know, it's been reinforced that I need it. So I needed it. So I got it. 
I like how I talk about things like I need them. Like people need food or water to survive. But they need it. The next big thing that I got was the Ocho Loco 2 from Urban Decay. It's missing the perversion one because I did give it to my friend Amanda because I have a few of them and she needed to try it. So um, this also comes with Roach, Twice Baked, Crave, Deep End, Mars, and Ultraviolet. I'm going to swatch one of them for you because this is what sold me. Okay. Ultraviolet. You can see that right there. Gorgeous. It's just that color. I don't know. I love it. Love. Love, love, love. Let's see. This is Deep End. Tornado. I don't, they're just, and the rest are pretty neutral colors. Not that I don't love neutral colors, I obviously do. But I was just sold by this one right here. Needed it. This was $59 and it does come with the Grindhouse Pencil Sharpener. So that's a nice bonus because I do not have that one. And I've heard, again, lots of good things about that sharpener. Dropping everything. I was able to pick up one of these bobs. I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. Um, these were from the Black Friday deals, and I had heard some of the, about this on YouTube. One luminizing black mask and three pore purifying black strips. So again, I've heard good things. I'm excited to try it. I haven't really done a lot of masks, so I figured it was time to try that. I picked up one of the lit kits. I did. I know that I'm getting the champagne one, the gold one. For Christmas and I was like I'll just wait and see if I like it but then I looked at the tester at Sephora and I couldn't leave it and I knew I ended up wanting to buy it anyway so I figured I'd snag it while I could these are um I think $19.95 $19.99 20 bucks at Sephora and I have wanted to order lip products for quite some time but I just couldn't justify it at any time I don't know so having it just accessible makes it so much easier to just purchase so I'm really excited to play around with this I was pretty impressed like I said with the tester no glitter no glory and the other things in here are gifts so I'm not gonna pull those out because then that'll ruin the surprise for people anyway but I did pick up uh, use 100 points on the Josie Maron light argon oil little sample so I'm one of these. I figured I'd try it. I do love the original. Ironically sitting right next to me. So I'm excited to try this one. I'm always excited about every day. Sorry. I'm excited about makeup every day. All day. So that concludes my relatively quick haul. Thanks so much for watching guys. Um, I want to know what you've been purchasing lately. What is your favorite purchase of the last month? I would love to hear. I am very excited about this palette. But I really think I'm going to end up loving this. So, if you used your Sephora coupon, I want to know what you went to Sephora and bought. And if you purchased any of the MAC holiday sets, I'd love to hear which ones you got. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Please comment down below.